Benji is normally like a real heavy updo. We went in, we had the meeting, and they were really inspired by Gustav Klimt, the artist. We're working on a really low side parting with a low swept bang. And we're using the volumizing mousse to control the hair, and we're not even really drying it. We're putting it in at the roots, combing the hair through, tucking it behind the ears, and letting it dry flat on its own. Through the middle and end, we're using one and a half inch curling iron, putting in a little bit of bend so that we get a really soft wavy texture. Using a tiny bit of hair in front of the ears to fasten the hair in the nape of the neck so that the hair is controlled and gives us that sort of painterly shape. The look is gold and black. I totally got inspired by those two colors I love, but we wanted to keep it quite in a very gentle way. On the eyes, first we apply a very thick gold eyeliner and half of that gold eyeliner will be covered with a black eyeliner. So it's basically like a duo eyeliner. And the rest of the face is pretty nude with a gorgeous satin finished foundation skin, rosy cheeks and a lavender uh, pink uh, lip color. We're into a very polished look for fall, uh, sort of dressy by day, and of course that evening, but we also have some very casual, luxe evening looks too that a lot of our, our ladies like these days. I love the fact that Bajli Mishka dresses are so feminine, so elegant, the detail in them is just so stunning, um, and they just make you feel amazing whenever you wear them. So. We're in very inspired by uh, Vienna, the turn of, century, of the last century, actually, Viennese art movements, uh, Gustav Klimt, Joseph Hoffman, you see a lot of it in, the, in, in these sort of geometric patterns in the fabrics, um, a lot of Austrian brocades, Austrian boucles, a lot of gilded fabrics, which kind of takes the, some inspiration into our actual fabrics, which is kind of fun. Instead of just the embroidery, it's actually in the fabric this time. Beautiful accessories, jewels. Our jewelry actually is made as an embroidery. So it actually molds to your body. So it's it's not just a piece of metal you're putting on your on your neck. It's actually an embroidery and it's actually comfortable jewelry, but it's super opulent at the same time. We did a lot of sports for this season. Yeah. We love our day dresses that can really take you from day to cocktail. Um, we, we, we cut them in beautiful uh, day bouquets and combine them in interesting ways. Uh, we love the cocktail dress more than ever. And uh, we did beautiful embellished knitwear that I think is really fun and sort of new to a woman's wardrobe. Well, the great thing about Bachelor Miska is you can go from day to evening by switching off of a jacket or wearing one of the skirts. I mean, I thought the embroidered skirt was brilliant, but I love with the black sleeveless top. Absolutely great. So you can wear that top and a jacket and take your skirt in your bag and then put it on for a cocktail party. our evening gowns 
which are, you know, the truest to our, our heart and our core business we always love doing. I thought it was great. The women were wonderful, beautiful. The dresses were awesome. It's my first time and I love it, and I'll be back. Genius, and I saw a few things I loved, a few things that I may order when I'm in my next life, actually. The one dress that I really love is the off-white, the Asian girl with all the gold embroidery was brilliant as well. Absolutely loved it. And the one that was like milfoy, it was like layers of lace over organdy, was absolutely brilliant too. I think our both our favorite gown is one that has no embroidery at all on it. It's totally unembellished. It's all about the fabric and the opulence and the cut about this one particular petrol blue and mauve evening gown that we just are in love with. Oh my god, completely just uh, stunning. I, I, have, I haven't got any words for it. Every dress was my favorite. I kept saying to my friend, that's my favorite, no, that's my favorite. Um, yes, yeah, stunning. I mean, and like the detail as well, when you see it up close, it's just exquisite. So yeah, I thought it was amazing. Everything is soft and molded and comfortable, but uh, still, you know, very embellished and opulent at the same time. That's sort of the combination of, you know, real, that we'd strive for a very comfortable sort of luxury.